Hello, YouTubers, and all those who happen to watch. Excuse the mess, obviously, because I'm going to be cleaning, like, my entire gaming closet, and rearranging everything, and, you know, making it look pretty. As well as putting spare cords, cables, and all that in a crate of some sort. But, alright, today we're going to be playing Riddle of the Sphinx on the, obviously, Atari 2600. This was developed by iMagic, and as well as, well, published due to the fact that third party crashed the technical format of most <clears throat> but anyway yeah this game is pretty interesting it's something I played for a while and you know got my head around it a little bit um, it's obviously for use with the obviously Atari 2600 as well as the Sears video game systems which is basically what this is right here which is the Gemini developed and created by Coleco. It was a not a bad system. Now, an interesting thing about this system is I'll show you if it hopefully does show you is how to drop something. No, but all right, I'm gonna show you guys what this does. Now, not a lot of people even commonly know it, what the Gemini was, but watch right here. Not sure if you saw the spark or not, but the system is prone to a lot of um, sparks and all that as well. So very dangerous if you have it on carpeting, which of course I have it levitated right now, so it's okay. But all right, so we're gonna be playing Tari game here with the actual controller. Now, a lot of people use their Sega Genesis controllers, but luckily I got three controllers that actually work fantastic. Um, trying to see what model version this is. Nope, no special model version. Good. All right. So, either way, let's play with a little bit of these things. Okay. Let's switch to... That's the game right there. No special loadups, no nothing. Alright. I used to start the game as a reset. But alright. Very Gotta kill scorpions here. The imagination has to be very open for this. Like it's really hard to Very hard to see the bullets on the screen. You have like a really good sharp eye. Oops. Hang on that shield. It's an oasis here. You visit these little areas that actually requenishes you or refreshes you. One of the sad things about this, though, is sadly that the scrolling and all that isn't very good. Nothing about camels. When you get hit, you get slowed down, but if you drink water, you speed right back up. Find an oasis here. One right there. And the cool thing about this game is that, well, you can't pause. Look, it's Pyramid Head. He pwned me. Oh no. You also lose a lot of points just doing that. Try 
avoid that guy as much as possible. That guy's like the plague. Okay. I'm like supposing you just ignore these civilians. A lot of people were requesting me to do some more Atari 2600 games because I, you know, I have it, but I don't play it on camera. That's one of the topics I wanted to bring up really briefly. Now, a lot of people say that, you know, in order to really truly present a game, you should have a capture card. It's, well, personally, I feel that it doesn't matter. I know, I'm the one trying to push out high quality, but if, you know, you're just trying to show off a game like this, I don't think you even need a capture card or any of the sort. As long as the person's playing it and it's seeable, like clear, or somewhat clear, I don't see a problem. You can't expect people to like fork out like five hundred dollars and two hundred dollars or fifty dollars just to show off a game they have in their collection. Granted though, if they have like really crappy quality camera, you now yeah, that's a kind of a problem. But The real answer to solution to this game is just to figure out some sort of riddle in this a pattern. Because obviously be searching this desert and slowing down as much as possible here. Um, Alright. Here's this temple. Can't be killing slaves now. there am I gonna make it am I gonna make it go go if you get hit or whatever you will lose or you hit a peasant you will slow down dramatically I had a peasant. Bad Danny. But. I think I solved the game. That's technically it right there. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, that's technically it, guys. Um, like, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I got my camera to work a little bit better now. 
I scrubbed this sugar honey iced tea out of the uh, connectors and I put a little bit of um, reinforcement on the battery so now it, it see it it's like literally really up close enough to the uh, bent the um, prongs so you know a couple I'd like to thank everybody again for helping me with that a little bit you know some suggestions and all that I just basically grabbed some paper and pushed up against it so that way it's feeling it really well so either way um, I have a feeling it's gonna be a, a temporary fix but um, I'm probably gonna have to get a new camera at some point down the line but either way thank you guys so much for watching and take care and look forward to more videos soon